I am here to tell you about Open Life Science, a program to not only help early career researchers to become open science leaders and masters, but also inspire culture change in their environment. So I would like to first put a, a start up by putting up a disclaimer that this is my second OLS to participate. I was a student of second round of OLS, and what you see here is the last slide from my first participation in the program. And this was my take home message. My first OLS had a huge impact, not only on my research skills, but on my all, but also on my life, lifestyle too. It even changed the way I used to greet people. And my first round of OLS did not only guide Guide me through the original project idea we brought to OLS, but also build confidence and allow me to embed open science in all, in all aspects of my work. In uh, my first participation, I wanted to make a simple CLI tool, but through this program, mentor with the mentor mentee, mentor mentee meeting and inviting an expert got our project to something much bigger. Later, I was introduced, introduced to Galaxy platform and we created a workflow which people can use it without any prior knowledge of coding, without worrying about their computational resources and their operating systems. And um, later on, I participated in the Galaxy Admin training. I promised my PI to dedicate some parts of the Institute's HPC server to me so I can deploy Galaxy. So you must be asking, why I am back to OLS. Well, OLS too inspired me and made me realize that there's so much goodness in the program that I have mentioned previously, but I think that it is not reaching out to as many people as I wish. So many, many more could benefit from this. I felt that there were many valuable things in here that is worth of being shared to the community at large. So I ended up proposing a project. Uh, we could somehow work towards writing this in a more accessible, available way whatever I could do to make it more happen. So I proposed coming together with the help of our blog experts and mentor, mentors to pen something towards this. So I joined OLS uh, with my second OLS on a different mission, uh, writing, an, writing an article which could be a great step in stone for future OLS mentors uh, and mentees and to the broader life size community. Well, I failed at this. Uh, I couldn't get the paper done, but thanks to my OLS mentors, they always ensured that we get something out of the program. I am a newbie. I have never published a paper, so imagine the work needed on my drafts. Maybe it was not a realistic goal to publish a paper in 16 weeks program, but as I said, they always made sure that we get out of the program with something. They were always kind and, kind and supportive, which is really invaluable for people who are based in low resource environment. Only even this, this kindness and support means uh, a lot to us, to people who are uh, located in this kind of environment, as it is really hard to find somebody who has the skills and expertise to support us in these regions, because sharing information and transparency is not applied in here, especially in academia. While in OLS, they shared every single information they have, and literally, I got more support than I could get in my own country. I have learned and achieved things that nobody would teach me in here or guide me through. Although uh, I could not achieve what I proposed at the beginning, we still got some achievements through OLS. Now I implement all, all open science in my work and uh, the workflow we created on the Galaxy is constantly being used by the researchers at my institute. In fact, one of the team did a poster presentation about this in a conference, and she also participated in all last year. And uh, I received the Galaxy Admin training, and my PI at the institute, who is a representative entity of uh, Asia Pacific Network, AP Bionet. So he witnessed the good changes in me. So uh, now we are working towards enhancing representation of uh, researchers from Asia Pacific Network in the international open science network, such as AP Bionet uh, will soon join the OLS to support them, and OLS will like, get workshop in AP Bionet by AP Bionet, and AP Bionet is going to take an action to collaborate with OBF. And we promoted OLS to expand the reach of open science training uh, in my institute. Uh, by sharing personal impact story at the GCC and ISMB. Now that I have opportunity to shoot, shout out uh, in the biggest players of the field to talk to people and attract people. And OLS did not only uh, impact, 
in fact, my research skills, but also uh, my environment, people around me and their, uh, and their guidance and actions set example for us. For example, in your last Slack channel, they shared, uh, they shared this, uh, they, they, they planted a tree dedicating to us, to participants. So I wanted to make something similar to you. I made a uh, petition to my administration at my institute to plant a tree. And previously I have been encouraging people at the institute to apply to OLS, but how are we going to convince someone uh, where people do not even know about openness in research? However, these actions results like my small project becoming a huge one in my first parts in my first participation, getting posters at the conferences, planting a tree, seeing participants, they really come out of with something and not only with their career and academic way, but also with the community work. These things attracted people and like a colleague of mine came up to me and was asking me how she can apply to all that, even though she has no project mind at all. And now contacted the, contacted the organizers showing that she is very eager to participate. And this was one of the examples. Uh, lately, more people at, uh, at my institute has been coming to me and asking me about all this and uh, about open, open, what, what do you mean by open? And now we are promoting it. And that was, uh, thank God that was, uh, made by, uh, with the OLS organizers. I, I thank all of them and thank you for listening. Thanks everyone.